All right, we're going to go over the, uh, the features of the truck, uh, primarily the valves and how they operate. And all the valves are on the driver's side of the truck, all located on the inside of the, the bed. And there is one more valve underneath the truck located right here. And the purpose of this valve is to basically, when you're changing the filter, cleaning out, it's the shutoff valve. So it's open right now for liquids to flow through and whenever you need to uh, clean out the filter, shut it to the off position. And the way to tell whether the valves are on and off is they're either set in here vertically or horizontally. And the valves, when they're 90 degrees from how they sit is whether they're on and off. So this one right here, the 30 gallon tank is off right now. If I was to move it this way, it's on because it's in line with the way the valve is situated in the truck. All right, and the purpose of the valves is to operate on each tank uh, of the spray truck. And we have four tanks located inside the truck. The front tank is our 300 gallon. The middle tank is a 125. The third tank is another 125. And our last tank is what's called a 30 gallon cone tank. And this is primarily for small mixes for, uh, for mainly sprays. And in the 300 gallon tank, that's primarily for uh, fresh water. All right, to move water, say you wanted to move 300 gallons to the middle 125. And the way to remember that is both these valves are two sizes. You have a small valve and a large valve. The large valve, you'll, that's gonna be your from, and the small valve will be two. So from and two. So if you wanted to move 300, from the fresh water to one, any one of these tanks, it has to be on. Right now, because this is open, the 125A, and this is open, 125A, it's operating off the middle tank, the 125A, and they're all labeled. Uh, the valves are labeled, the tanks are labeled, so there's no confusion. All right, so right now it's operating off the 125A. So say we wanna move water to the middle tank 125A. You wanna close the large one on the 125A and open the large 300. So there again, that's from, coming from the 300 gallon to the 125A. So without the truck being on, we'll say it's moving water. So you watch the sight valves where you wanna go and when you get to that position, then you're going to turn the PTO off, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So we got to where we want to go now, so the 300 goes back off, and the 125A goes back on. So we're now operating off the 125A. So to actually move water, the truck needs to be on. before you move any water you want to make sure that the valves are where you want them to be truck needs to be on this is your interior PTO switch so with the truck in park and the emergency brake set you would turn the button on and the PTO would be operating so you go to the back and while the PTO is running this this button right here is also the PTO button to operate back here. So you would uh, switch that off and then configure the valve you, where you want them to go and then turn it back on. So that allows the power take off to operate again. So if, while that's running, then you would, you would want to figure out which, uh, where you would want to move water. There again, we'll go over it again. So now, now let's say we want to do a small tank spray in the 30 gallon tank. So the one while the PTO is off, the 125 
would be turned off and we're going to move water from the 300 gallon tank to the 30 gallon tank. So from 300 to 30 gallon tank on. So it's now on, on, moving water from the 300 gallon tank to the 30 gallon tank. And then you would watch where you want the water to go. Water's rising, water's rising. All right, I want 10 gallons. It's almost there. Stop. Turn the PTO off. Turn the water that's coming from 300 gallons. Turn that off. The, this 30 is already open. So you t open up this 30 that's located closer to the 30 gallon tank. On. PTO back on. And you're ready to operate out of the 30 gallon tank. Uh, just to simplify it even further, I know it can be overwhelming because you see a lot of ball valves here. Just realize for each tank, there's only a set, meaning two ball valves per tank. And they're all numbered and in line with the way the tank is set up. 300, 125A, 125B, and 30. They're all in line. And as long as you know the large one is from and the small one is to, and they have to be all in line with one another as far as which valves you're operating off the tank you'll be fine as long as your those two valves are open in the open position for what tank you want to operate of you shouldn't have any problem all right so whatever tank you are operating off of the they're all flowing to the the spray hose which is on this side So if I had it set on the 30 gallon tank, then that, that liquid would automatically flow to this hose. If I had it set to the 125 A or B, then we would get the same liquid coming through this hose. There's only one spray hose operational right now. There's a place on the truck to have two spray hoses, but they also have on and off, off switches to whichever one they go to. So basically this valve is open, always open right now because we only have one spray hose. There's a spot for another spray hose right here, but it's basically been deadheaded right here. Just plugged up, you can't, it's not operational because there's not another spray hose. But in saying that to, you may have fresh water fertilizer in the middle tank or another product in the third tank. Whatever you did last is gonna be in that hose. So you're gonna have to, this is 400 feet hose, so you may have two to three gallons of material in it. So you're gonna to have to recirculate that out to get the other product coming out of it. So if you just wanted fresh water out of the 300 gallon tank and you had fertilizer in it, you gotta recirculate the fertilizer out until you get the fresh water. And there's one more valve on this side, and all this does is regulate the pressure on and off. It's set on off now. When you're ready to, to spray, that goes on and then the pressure is regulated right here. This is basically what's known as a dump valve, dumping pressure into the, uh, to the spray hose. Counter, counterclockwise would be away from, to, away from you going that way, so that would lessen the pressure and coming toward you would, would uh, give you more pressure. I just didn't want you to get a shot of this because it's like broke. Because oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's set on 600. I actually think the cold messed it up. All right, while we're over here on this side, and we talked about the uh, pressure regulator and the pressure gauge, you have the, the hose on the same side, which is basically what you're, what you're gonna use every time you operate the spray truck, basically. There's 400 feet of half-inch hose on here. It's basically high-vis yellow, so it could be visible. And there's really no good way to explain how to, how to reel this up. It just takes a lot of practice but it, you do have to get it on there evenly because you can see with even 400 feet, you don't have much clearance here. So if you don't get it on straight, it's gonna be bunched up on one, one side or the other, either in the middle, and you're never gonna get it on the reel evenly 
or if worse, if you try to take it off, you're gonna be struggling with it. So, and another thing is like, if you have all your hose out and you're trying to reel it up, bring the end of the hose close to you so it's not out on any pavement or dragging across anything when you reel it up. Because if you're dragging it, you're gonna, this is brass, you're gonna damage it. You're gonna damage the ball valve. Keep it close to you when you're reeled up. And, and it's got one button right here on the electric reel that reels it in. So when you get towards the end, make sure you keep your eye on that because if you get it going too fast, it could whip up and hit you or it could damage something around you. So don't leave it away from you. Keep it close to you so you can keep your eye on it while you're reeling up evenly. When it gets closer, stop it right here, just tuck it right in, and you're done.